Hopefully my GoPro starts uploading to the cloud because there's almost 50 videos on here or clips or whatever shots that didn't upload last night. So that's uh, almost this entire week probably. Um, so that's cool. But we got our rain. We're almost done with it today. Which means not being a little bitch today. We get to grease this head. Let's get out of the truck. Let's get out of the truck because people keep getting a hold of me. <laughs> It's really annoying. That's annoying. It's just no bueno. Um, it kills production. So we are still on flip flops. My toe was doing better, and then I kicked it. So against the door jam. Oh! I literally just hopped out of the truck and was like, "Where's my trailer?" In my head. Um, I didn't bring a trailer today because I don't need one. I'll swing by and pick up the machine later. Um, we only got an acre to do today. So, we should be good. Um, still running this cobalt grease. Not 100% uh, sure I'm a fan. Still want to order that Amsoil. I don't know what Amsoil grease to order. So, let's walk back. Y'all need some bolts? Thankfully, we don't need any bolts today. <laughs> I'm so happy the mulcher's up and running. This piece of land has a bunch of ground cover, I guess I should call it. It's this, these ivies and these vines and stuff on top of pine needles. Over in the front here at least, because these these pine trees right here. Thankfully in the back it's more scrub oak. That's gonna open up so good. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at that. Like if you know mulching, if you know mulching, look how good that's gonna look. I'm so excited. So excited. So, anyways, let's get this this beast. We can put we've been doing so much stuff lately that um keeping up like Trying to keep up at the level that I demand has been almost a, you know, 80 hour task these days, um, 80 hour a week task. Um, just making sure that the debris is picked up from the tree guys, the stumps are ground, but you see what I mean? Like we're just busy on all sides. This is a good problem to have. I'm very thankful. Especially now that I'm not doing any consulting, um, I have to focus on tree shots. You guys do this? Do you wiggle your your arm back and forth to get that grease in there? I do. I don't know if that's good either, but that should last a few hours, right? Let's go send that estimate. information 
and uh, I forgot, <laughs> unfortunately. And uh, he texted me again yesterday, just um, a little bit better description of the property and such. And I was like, hey man, I'm sorry. And uh, I was like, when I get the kiddos to sleep, I will sit down on the computer and I'll get that sent over to you. And then uh, I kind of fell asleep with the kiddos last night. <laughs> Which happens quite often, honestly, guys. So I apologize if, if, if it seems like I disappear around eight o'clock. It's because I fell asleep while putting the kids to sleep. There's a little bit left of that stump. But I'm gonna try and clean up this stuff here. I hate picking the head up like that because it does that. It hits the door. I'm always scared like a knife is gonna come through and kill me or worse. And, um, that's why I don't like picking up there, but mines are unforgiving. All right, let's get this log straight. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit much. Cutting wood against the grain, very demanding task, especially nice, healthy oaks like this. so excited to mulch. This is, this is what mulching's about. These are the good days right here. We got nice woody material, not a lot of palm yet at least. <laughs> it is an acre so they could be hiding in the back. Um, mulch is running good. We got cool temps today and we also have a good um, canopy above of dominant trees. That should also help keep the temps down. I gotta text the client, let them know that I'm mulching. Just told him that to, he wants to come out, take a look at it, because people love watching the machine run. Um, but I told him, you know, keep a good distance because this machine can throw debris sometimes. Thankfully, as the South Carolina DOT found out, much safer to run than traditional or other options but nothing's a hundred percent right there's no there's no guarantee but
We're, I'm leaving the back head, a back line, um, till I'm, till the last bit, because that's the closest side to the residential area, and by residential areas, you typically run into trash, so I'm going to save that for the end. Um, this is the halfway point on the acre. You see how thick this, this, this mulch is, or this ground cover is? It's like mulch and dirt. It really is mulch and dirt. Um. But we gotta go. Basically, it's those those baby pines right there. That's where we're headed. Um, but we're gonna blow this out. Look at this. Look at this. Little saplings don't stand a chance. Gyro track gonna eat them. Gotta cut these vines out, and then uh, then we'll push in, push on the roof, something like that, and uh, make it happen.
want to go for a ride? We need to go check on the tree, guys. Technically, this would be day two here. But, <laughs> one, I left at 1.30. So I didn't even get a full day. And two, I'm almost half an acre on the wrong property. <laughs> we have to go, we have to do from that pine that's down, over. Um, obviously I'll come back and I'll hit some of these smaller trees around and then uh, make it go over and make it look pretty. paid he showed up happy with it it's a little a little rough but uh it's gonna get stripped once the next buyer buys it to develop it he is only selling it so he said it's good enough no need to beat it up but there's an acre of land over here too <laughs> um and uh honestly he's probably gonna double his easily double it oh okay, yeah for sure He's definitely going to double his money um, on what he has in this land when he goes to sell it. Ugh, his arm's starting to drag. Anyways, we are going to take a long ride over to the next piece of land. So, um, I'm going to 
push to slow down, let him walk over here, and then uh, we'll take a look at it and then uh, get to work. After this job, you clean her up. But we'll uh, come back with the gooseneck another day. Man, caked in there. All of it in there, gotta come out. Oof. That's a fight for another day. Missed a piece. Let's take an after photo. Well, <clears throat> it is 7.03 at night. Left the house at 6.15 this morning. But, um, the, we finished up that acre. What did we do today? We finished up the acre. We cleaned up on that half acre like next door that looked great i was super happy with it um gotta go pick that machine up i, ha I didn't bring gooseneck today for that truck uh, machine but i am on my way back to the tree job that we dropped the gooseneck off at this morning so we're going to show you guys the oaks that got trimmed um but we also unfortunately have to look at some damage so <laughs> this morning when i opened that uh that gate into the backyard it's just a rotten wooden fence and uh it almost, like it seemed like it fell off the hinge i just picked it up put it back on the latch that's what you do uh wood fences don't last forever in florida um and most of like a lot of them just rot like they, they just are they rot actually rot from the bottom i think mostly from just water moisture and stuff um but it wasn't an issue until it's an issue <laughs> and then the customer said that uh, um, yeah, she told the guys apparently that it wasn't an issue that she already planned on replacing it 
but uh, then I got a phone call. <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay, well, wasn't aware that it was even an issue. Didn't even know what happened, honestly. So, we're gonna take a look at it. Um, apparently, hit, there's two gates, I guess. I don't know. We also have to pick up the gooseneck. Um, <laughs> Puppy. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> this old gate needs to be replaced. But as you can see, it is a very old gate. This was the hinge I was talking about this morning. There is no hinge here, actually. Um, I'm about to buy a gate. 